Hey guys, uh, welcome to your career and money reading for Sagittarius for the rest of your July uh, 2023. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we are going to take a look and see what's going on with your career and your money. And then we'll finish off the, uh, the read to see uh, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Quick note, I'm not taking um, pre-recorded personal readings at this time, just virtual. Uh, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for, for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So, Sagittarius. Sagittarius here in their career and their money. What does Sagittarius need to know when it comes to their career and their money? for uh, July 2023, for the rest of their July 2023. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius here. Sagittarius. So we have the two of wands, the empress here, and the magician here. I mean, it seems like you're making some plans here. You know, it seems like you're master manifesting here, attracting here. You know, I feel like it's to the point where I, you know, there's a lot going on here. And I feel like you're able to make things happen here. Whatever is going on in your career, in your finances right now, there's a lot of growth and expansion that's happening here, okay? Some of you guys could be do, doing energy work, healing work here. Some of you guys could be working with, um, you know, you know, working with energies like in between realms here too. Uh, if that's not the case, you know, some of you guys could be scientists here. Some of you guys could be creating like um, things can that can help humanity here, okay? Uh, so the Empress, Libra, Taurus here, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo here. Let's see what else we have. We have the Eight of Wands here. Whatever is happening here, uh, Leo, not Leo, Sagittarius, it's happening very, very, very fast, very quickly here, okay? So I feel like you created something here. You set your mind to something here. You know, I feel like you're set your energy to something here that you're trying to make happen, and it is happening here, okay? Whatever that might look like to you, whether it's manifesting a new job, whether it's manifesting a new business, okay? Manifesting, you know, abundance here. It's coming in for you here, Leo. Uh, why do I keep calling you Leo? Sagittarius. So maybe you have Sagittarius, uh, not Le uh, not Sagittarius, Leo in your chart, Sagittarius. All right, we have the King of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands here. Not the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Swords here. All right, let's see what else we have here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Oh, this is so interesting. Let's say someone here works for you. Could be a situation that you fear someone here is lo like leaving you because I feel like this person was a huge asset to you. Now, let's say if you're a boss here, Sagittarius, you know, it's I feel like it's really important to talk to this person to see how they're doing here, what their needs are, you know, uh, you know, how you could help them, uh, you know, achieve their own personal goals here when it comes to uh, this business or the work situation that you're going through here okay so i'm gonna the two of wands why is the two of wands here the two of wands for sagittarius nine of wands empress and the six of wands here seems like you fought hard long and hard to the nails to reach your success and victory here yeah, whatever this is, like I said, it's happening very, very, very fast. You're getting a lot of attention here regarding what you're doing here, whatever that may be. I do feel like with the Empress here, Sagittarius, you're pretty high up on the food chain here. Now, whether if it's working in the nine to five situation here or if you own your own business here, okay? Could be something in like fashion or the beauty industry. Some of you guys could have your own like 
blog or you guys have your own magazine or online magazine here okay the magician and the four of wands here eight of wands here and the three of wands wow lots happening here for you sagittarius career great perhaps finances great some of you guys could have created built a new home and i feel like you guys are ready to move in now if you guys didn't build a home it could be that you know the renovations are done here you know the renovations are done here so you know there could be a physical move that's happening here for you sag king of pentacles seven of wands you could be dealing with someone here in a work situation here where this person is resistant resisting any sort of help here whoever this is this is an individual that likes to work alone maybe you're having trouble with this individual or having trouble conversing with this individual i i, I, I do feel like it, it, i think one of the important things in this situation here is to allow this person the space to express themselves fully give them that safe space don't judge them, don't, don't, don't try and belittle them or something like that. Because I do feel like this person does need some support here. Okay? It could be a colleague, coworker, you know, uh, somebody. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Whatever this is, I feel like maybe this person doesn't have or it doesn't feel like they have enough money or that they're getting paid enough to support their family here okay that's something to look into here uh Sagittarius if you're in this situation here especially if you're like in a leadership position what else do we have here for Sagittarius what else does Sagittarius need to look out for work on here for the rest of July Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs here so we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse we have the Fool card here Aries energy, Aquarius energy, the sun, the seven of cups, Leo energy with the sun here, the ten of wands here, and the two of swords. Oh, could be a situation that there is a worker here that might work under you. And I feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that fears getting let go. And do you feel like there could be someone that you're working with or that someone that's under you here that's not performing? to the standards that you're looking for. I feel like it's, if you're in the leadership position here, I do feel like it's important to talk to this person first and ask them what they need and how they could be supported in order for them to feel like they're valuable. Does that make sense? But overall, in general here, Sagittarius, Nine of Swords in the reverse, full card, the sun, seems like everything is going pretty well here. Yeah, everything is going pretty well here. Things are moving pretty quickly. Like I said, I feel like there's a lot of growth and expansion happening for you. Some of you guys could have just recently gotten into this leadership position. Nine of Swords in the reverse. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces here, the Fool. The King of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. This masculine here that you work with here, I feel like this person has a hard time expressing themselves. Yeah... This is interesting because I feel like you want your employees or that you want this worker here to take more risk. Yeah, to take more risk here, okay? The Sun, the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here, the Seven of Cups here, and the Five of Swords. Be careful, you know, not to get into an energy where you're kind of like in this power play position here because I do feel like it, it will create like an unhealthy work environment because I, I just keep getting the sense that a lot of you guys are in this leadership role, okay? Ten of Wands, <coughs> Ten of Wands, the Knight of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Two of Swords, and the Five of Wands here. There's definitely conflict that's about to happen here in your work situation. That's something to look out for. So I feel like if 
there are people working under you, it's really important to listen to them at this time. Yeah, give them that safe space to express what they need, okay? So, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.